Hey there, welcome. In this video, I want to share with you my number one secret for improving your English, understanding what you hear and read, and expressing yourself better when you speak or write. We're also going to do three quick things to help you get started, okay? So for those of you who don't know me, my name is David. I'm from Orlando, Florida, but I'm currently living in Brazil where I've been teaching English for the past 17 years. So today I want to share with you some of the tips that I use to help my English students. So here we go. Number one secret. If you want to understand what you hear, you want to speak better and improve your English, you have to improve your vocabulary. You have to learn new words because if you don't know the words you're hearing, you won't understand. If you don't know the words that you want to say, you won't be able to speak and express yourself. You can get around those with other words. You can say, my mother's mother is sick, right? Or you can say, my grandmother has hepatitis. Maybe you don't know the word for hepatitis, so you can use sick or another word. You might not know how to say grandmother, so you say mother's mother, right? You can get around it, but if you know the exact word, you want to speak better for you. Every level you're at in English, you can learn new words to improve and become a better speaker. I learn as a native speaker, I learn new words every single day. When I read a text, I come across words that I haven't seen before. Sometimes my students ask me, hey teacher, how do we say this in English? And I'm like, that's a good question, right? So we're constantly learning new words to express ourselves better and understand what we hear. So here's what you can do to get started today. Three quick and easy things. Number one, find some words you don't know. Read a text, watch a movie, and observe what's being said. Use subtitles if you need to. Find a list of words. Look up words about a theme or topic. And find three words that you don't know. And write those words down. You can use your cell phone, a piece of paper, a notebook, wherever you want. Write those words down. Step number two, go and learn what those words mean. Use your dictionary, use a translator, use an app, whatever's easy for you. Ask someone and learn what those words mean. So number one, write the word down in English that you don't know. Number two, write down what it means. And number three, write down a sentence using that word. Try to use that word. You're gonna make mistakes, but that's okay. When you make a mistake, someone will give you feedback and correct you. When a child speaks, it learns the word mommy, it learns the word water. So the baby says, mommy, water. And the mother says, ah, the baby wants water and the baby learns wants, and the baby, ah. So the next time the baby says, mommy wants water. And the mother says, oh, you water. Say, mommy, I want water. And she corrects the child speaking. So you can do the same thing with your English. Don't be afraid to make mistakes. Create a sentence, use it, get feedback, and learn how to speak better. As you learn these new words, you'll identify them when you hear them, you'll understand what you're hearing, and when you want to speak or express yourself, you'll be able to use those words yourself. So if you do these things every day, these three steps to increase your vocabulary, learn new words, see a word, write down the meaning, write down a way to use it, and practice, you will improve your vocabulary. Simple stuff, I know. And I'd like to invite you to sign up for our five-day challenge where I'll be sharing more tips and tricks on how to 
increase and improve your vocabulary. I'll be sharing with you tools and resources that you can use. If you'd like to join us, I'll send those to you by email. I'll record more videos for you, answer questions. I think this is gonna be fun. So go ahead and sign up the big green button below, or if you're watching on YouTube, the just link in the description wherever you see this video, go ahead and join us. I look forward to seeing you and sharing more tips with you to help you improve your English. Have a good day. Bye-bye.